on a couple of different levels. One, uh, we are close to your home, we're in the Maritimes, we are a tight-knit community and we are uh, an aggregate of tightly knit communities as well. And so when we're telling you about something that's happening, it's happening close to home. As well, we think that you can probably relate to these stories and so the stories hit close to home too. And uh, that's why the title of the show is particularly appropriate, especially here in the Maritimes. The show Close to Home really does fit in with the ideals of public radio in that it helps define our culture as Maritimers, but it also constantly expands and introduces new elements to our, our constantly changing maritime culture. The best part of my job is engaging with people in the Maritimes. There are so many people in our region who are doing uh, interesting, inspiring, and amazing things for their community and for the community beyond the Maritimes. There are people who are uh, doing incredible things to help people outside of Canada as well, from building orphanages to helping with education, agriculture, and other parts of the world. And uh, it inspires me, I can honestly say, every single day to meet some of these people and hear about what they're doing. There are so many stories that we've heard about on Close to Home that have uh, moved me and touched me. Some of them have made me laugh out loud several times. I hear them twice or three times they made me laugh every time. Uh, one that comes to mind in particular is a man in Moncton who quietly goes about his business every year and helps women in uh, developing countries uh, set up their own sewing co-ops and he has made such a tremendous difference in these women's lives. They were, weren't even able to uh, keep their children with them because they didn't have the means to do that and he has completely turned their lives around. Uh, another story that I think about is um, a young man who was teaching in Haiti at the time of the earthquake and uh, Pretty much overnight, he became uh, a, a, a rescuer. He grabbed a, a first aid kit, and he and his girlfriend went around and saved many, many, many people and, and helped them. Uh, these are the kinds of stories that come back to me over and over again. To me, home is a place where I feel loved, I'm comfortable, I'm taken care of, I can take care of others and I am surrounded by people I can rely on. And I hope we bring those qualities and that sensibility to the people who tune in to Close to Home.